Growing tension over the crisis in Ukraine. Here's what's new today. Uh, U.S. guided missile destroyer is now in the Black Sea. The USS Donald Cook arrival is part of a military effort to demonstrate U.S. support for uh, Eastern European allies. It comes as NATO releases satellite photographs of 40,000 Russian troops stationed right now near the Ukraine border. And according to NATO, those troops are ready for combat. Meanwhile, Russia's top prosecutor says he sees no reason to extradite uh, extradite the ousted Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych to Kiev. Ukraine's interim government uh, this week froze the bank accounts of Yanukovych and 66 others in his government. Ukrainian authorities are telling uh, pro-Russian protesters they won't be prosecuted. They leave the buildings they are occupying in some of those Eastern, Europe, Eastern Ukrainian cities. So what's the next move for the United States? The next move for the Obama administration, the U.S. Congress. Joining us now is Congressman Adam Schiff of California is a senior member of the House Intelligence Committee. You were just there a few days ago. So where is this thing going? Hard to say. I mean, clearly Russia is prepared to invade. Uh, whether they will use the pretext of uh, some manufactured uh, protests in the eastern part of Ukraine as uh, a reason to invade, we don't know. Uh, but certainly they're prepared. Some of what they're doing looks like it's for show, but other parts of it uh, that they're doing looks like they're very much prepared to invade. Uh, and I, I think we would uh, be well to help Ukraine prepare if that happens. So tell, tell me what you're recommending as far as U.S. action to deal with a situation like that. Uh, I'm recommending a couple things. Uh, first, that we assist Ukraine with uh, intelligence information, a military consultation, so they know what they're up, ag they're what up against. What about hardware? Uh, in terms of hardware, you know, we, uh, I don't think, are in a position to help Ukraine win a struggle uh, with De Russia. What about defensive equipment? Well, uh, that's, that's a possibility, but again, I think that's more likely to cause an escalation with Russia than providing information that may be more valuable to them given the timeline. Uh, the other thing that I, I think we can do is forward deploy some of our military assets to our NATO countries in the region. Uh, they are very concerned uh, that we won't come to their defense. Uh, but there are treaty, treaty obligations. If, if Poland or Latvia or Lithuania or Estonia, these are countries that are members of NATO, and the U.S., like all NATO countries, are obliged to, if any NATO ally is attacked, it's like an attack on all members of NATO. Well, that's uh, exactly right, under Article 5 of that NATO agreement. So you we, think Putin would actually consider attacking a NATO ally? I don't think so. But I think that uh, I, I know, because I was in Lithuania a few days ago as well, they're desperately concerned, uh, and they want a greater NATO presence. Uh, they lived under Soviet domination, uh, and I think we ought to reassure them, as well as send a message to Russia that, you know, we're prepared to draw a Reviving line. Reviving that missile defense shield, is that something you support? Um, you know, the missile defense shield purportedly was more about Iran than about Russia, and I'm not sure it makes sense uh, to revisit that, but certainly I think uh, we ought to take steps either through naval assets, uh, air assets, or on the ground, uh, to strengthen our presence uh, in the NATO countries in the region. And, and finally, Wolf, I think uh, uh, the sanctions need to be strengthened. And Europe uh, has to be prepared, the preparation ought to be undertaken now, to impose sector-wide sanctions if there's a further Russian incursion in Ukraine. But they're really you know, dependent on Russian energy exports, oil to, uh, to Western Europe, Eastern Europe, Germany. A lot of these countries depend on Russian energy. Uh, Wolf, you're absolutely right. And this will be difficult and painful for you. Uh, and Western Europe. But, you know, at the end of the day, they've got to ask how much is uh, uh, sovereignty worth? Uh, how much is it worth to stand up to Russia? They have the most at stake. Uh, and so I think we need to be really working with them now, uh, stealing them for some tough decisions uh, that will need to be made if Russia invades. Uh, because unless we can raise the cost for that kind of uh, escalation, provocation, violation of international law, I think we encourage Russia to do it in other places. Adam Schiff, thanks very much for coming in.